everyone welcome back to my channel it is Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Pisces Sun Moon and Rising you can always look at your Moon and Rising sign readings on top of your Sun sign reading today for extra clarity or in case this isn't resonating with you this week Pisces so this is for the week of September 19th to September 26th I'm using the medicine cards here for your main spread today and then drawing additional message cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle and the Healing with the Angels Oracle. This is a general reading. So whatever is most prominent in your life this week, I encourage you to apply these messages to, and hopefully you find them helpful in healing. So what does Pisces need to know? Okay, Pisces, so we have your cards out. Let's just get a little snapshot of what's going on with all four cards together, and then we'll look at these one by one. So I'm seeing that you're probably resting pretty easy in something, really confident, comfortable um, in something this week, either a decision that you've made or a plan that's come to fruition for you. Um, feeling as though your personal power is being enhanced. You could be put in a situation this week where you are uh, capable of using this power over somebody or using it against or using it in some sort of um, hierarchical way um, that you'll want to avoid. And this will be sort of a test for you um, that you're able to share responsibilities, share power, um, share uh, successes and failures even if they're minor this week you don't want to do any blaming or um, that type of game this week you want to share responsibilities and successes with others and it's also a really good way to achieve a sense of leadership is to show other people even with a sense of power even if you have what looks like it all um, you can still be humble you can still be human or you can help someone out of a tight situation if you are capable of doing that while not lording power over them. This is going to feel very natural to you this week as well. Um, there's a great deal of gratitude for you this week. A great deal of connection with source or um, cycles or Mother Earth, as it were. And you may find yourself... Uh, so comfortable there that you are you may feel like you're missing some excitement um, by the end of the week it looks like so yeah just maybe remember to keep some of those connections this week uh, to keep your feet on the ground this week and um, not get too carried away especially if you are meeting with some successes this week not that you can't be excited and, and celebrate um, you just want to remember to keep your feet on the ground this week. So let's look at these one by one. Here we're looking at dolphin. This is mana. This is you in the uh, spread this week. This represents you. And this is really just having everything that you need, knowing how to achieve everything. Um, but more than that, like having the skills, having the resources to do everything or to accomplish everything this week. And this is where I'm seeing that you're probably going to feel pretty satisfied about something. Um, and it could be a result of other people telling you that you're successful in their eyes or you've done, you've accomplished something that, you know, they've worked hard for, um, et cetera. And it has felt not necessarily easy for you, but it, you've accomplished it without too much um, heartache. 
I wouldn't say effort. I think what you have been working on is probably a lot of effort, particularly if it's emotional or if it's uh, studious or um, like a learning opportunity. Of course, it's been work, but it hasn't been a struggle necessarily for you and other people could be seeing that and, you know, possibly asking for your advice or asking, you know, how do you do what you're doing? You make it look so easy um, could could occur this week. And this is an opportunity for you to tell them, look, I know this isn't easy for everybody. This is where you're going to want to keep your feet on the ground and not sort of lord power over somebody. And it could be even in a minor way. Um, it's just an opportunity to be humble while remaining powerful, while remaining in your power. I mean, nothing here will be taken away from you while being humble. Um, I don't see you getting ahead of yourself here or getting away with yourself um, here. It's just that they're the the test here this week or the lesson will be that that you know um, you won't uh, be you know seduced by that type of uh, you know perceived power to lord it over someone else or to even over yourself to say you know, that, that person a year ago or that person before they learned this lesson or accomplished this, uh, you know, was such a fool or, you know, didn't know anything. Well, you did. You did know lots. You knew exactly what you needed to know up until the moment that you made a decision. Um, so really, try not to be hard on anyone, including yourself here this week, especially if you've come through something or are on the other side of something here and now you're feeling very successful or very accomplished. Um, especially if there is anything going on here with hard work around um, emotional uh, emotions or the psyche, uh, there's probably a great deal of health here now, and that could be the subject matter for you, um, a, a health issue. In the influence to the current position um, is the turtle here, and this is where we're looking at Mother Earth. This is where I'm seeing that you would feel stable. There is a great deal of stability for you, or at least you're looking at your place or yourself in the cycle of life, the theme of uh, changes, even as we turn into autumn here seasonally. Maybe you're feeling that, you know, on a, on a psychic or even personal level, or like I said, maybe on even... Uh, like a process level at this phase in your life, you're saying, oh, you know, this This feels like a cycle to me. Um, this is very much where your feet are planted on the ground. This is something you're going to want to carry with you. This is a very grounding uh, understanding of life. And it also helps to um, reorganize our thoughts. It reorganizes, especially in uh, times of, you know, relative or perceived chaos or changes. Um, even a change in life can feel like chaos. And this is a really nice theme to remember here that things are cyclical. We are all biological beings. We're all um, creatures of nature. And, you know, we belong to nature. This is what's um, curious that we seem to forget so much. And, and we've been lied to so much. So don't be hard on yourself about this either for remembering this or, uh, you know, figuring this out. This is, you know, we're not reminded of this on a daily basis, unfortunately. When I use medicine cards here, like these are, um, these are native stories. These are native traditions. These are ancient. Um, and this has been beaten out of us, unfortunately. But the fact is, is that we are um, natural, organic, beings, um, you know, who must succumb on varying levels uh, in, our, in our bodies and in our lives, uh, in an, our relationships to the natural order. So I think this is what's going on here. You're just, you're aware of this and, but further to that, and most importantly, that you are going through life this way, that now you, you're taking this as an understanding and you're applying it. And this is what helps keep us humble. This is what helps also 
relate to other people, okay? Other people who are struggling, whether we understand that struggle or have met with it ourselves, this is healing as well because we can recognize that through cycles we can spiral up. We know that we're creatures of the natural world, but we can still spiral um, out of ourselves. Another theme behind this, of course, is the Fibonacci sequence. It's, it's an interesting scientific um, discovery, frankly, and it's found in all um, of nature. It's a mathematical sequence, Pisces, and it just means that um, whatever we are creating or whatever is created in nature is just spiraling out. It's growing out, but it's the same thing. It's made of the same stuff. So um, it's just a really nice thing to remember here that, um, f you know, we, we end up going from where we came from, that type of thing. Um, so those type of cycles as well. So it just... Um, and on the other hand, if you're feeling too humble or if you're being humbled in a sense here um, that is uncomfortable for you, it could be a nice week to remember here in terms of uh, this energy being the overall energy to remember your personal power, okay? So I just want to clear that up. If uh, you're bigger than your britches this week, you want to remember to keep your feet in the ground. But if you're feeling smaller or for some reason, um, you know, not connected here or you're forgetting or letting go of connections to not nature or, or cycles or mother earth here also an ancient symbol of uh, creation as in creation story if you're forgetting that remember that your personal power is found in that connection okay it both humbles us and it exalts us all right uh, this this um the, our biological being here with your probable outcome is a possum. This is where I'm seeing that you could be distracted or you could be drawn to some element of distraction or you could need a distraction this week, especially if there's something that feels overwhelming. Um, you don't want to get into sort of um, elements of distraction that could be harmful, like drugs and alcohol. You want to avoid that or um, really using your body in unhealthy ways. I And I really don't mean... I'm not saying drugs and alcohol in the sense where you can't celebrate. Of course, celebrate. Um, I just mean as a theme here, you know, if something feels overwhelming or heavy or if you feel like you're tied to something and, and you're trying to forget or if you forget that you're tied to something, you know, in the natural world that you're a biological being, you want to remember here that Diversion is about trying to forget or get away from something that is uncomfortable. It's a very natural response here. It could also be that there's another entity or individual here who is trying to get your attention or to get you to um, look at their circumstances or to understand them. And you may not have the patience or time to do that. But again, it's really just about you saying, exactly what you need and where you are. As long as you express where you are this week, you know, really make it known to yourself. And then if someone else is trying to divert you, you can say, you know what, this, is the, this isn't the week for me. Um, try me next week. Or, you know, I'd really love to, but I'm going to um, finish up what I'm in the middle of. You don't have to take care of anyone else this week. Um, barring being a parent and having a child and the child parent relationship, of course, uh, you'll want to continue doing that. But if there's another adult involved, you're going to suggest that, um, you know, they can handle it. They can take care of themselves and you'll be back or you'll be available um, when you're ready here on your own time. You really just really need to reconnect with source, really reconnect with yourself. Also, um, remember your benefits. Remember your uh, all the positives that you already have, all the personal power that you have, um, and the foundational power, including resources here, like I said, the opportunities. Sometimes we forget that an opportunity is a sense of power, okay? But an opportunity is a resource. And not everyone has the same access to resources here, Pisces, and it's a nice week for you to remember that um, you do have access to plenty. Um, so there's a lot available to you. If you feel like there are any doors closed, really examine 
what some of your resources or opportunities are. And another frame of resources, it's not always money. It's not even what I'm thinking of, uh, actually. It is um, help. Other people can assist you somehow. Um, let's say you're looking for a mechanic. Somebody knows someone who is a mechanic. That's what I'm talking about in terms of resources. And here with horse, we're looking at power. This is overall energy for the week. This is touching on all cards here. And this is where I'm seeing, you know, power in relation to Mother Earth, in relation to mana or having everything you need, and in relation to diversion here. Um, this could even amount to a power play or it could feel like one if you feel torn or if you feel like you owe somebody something. Uh, again, even if you do, even if that's um, a, an, an actual uh, theme, you can say, look, now is not the time. I'm going to be able to pay you back um, at this time, but it's really important for you to be 100% clear with, your, with yourself first. Uh, to know exactly when so you can express that without it turning into something tumultuous. Um, but again, keeping your feet on the ground. Someone could very well be turning to you this week um, for advice. So as I said at the very, very beginning, you're just going to want to be sort of pleasant about that and maybe not lord anything over someone else. Um, even if it's, you know, tempting. Um, and maybe they'll be putting you in a position to do that, you know, like treating you as though you're um, some sort of master about something, even if you are. It's a, and, and even if it's true, right, and they're treating you this way, um, you're going to want to remember that, you're, that you're, everyone it has the same spark, right? We're all the same. We're all going through cycles. We all go through these things. And just to remember um, to relate to them one-on-one -on -one. and you certainly don't want anyone have, having power holding rather power over you this week here we have soulmates this is where i just see you feeling so supported i'm going to um look at this here together with dolphin with mana and soulmates there's dozens of hearts around this pair uh this isn't necessarily a couple of course it can be romantic of course soulmates can always be um, in the romantic realm. Uh, and hearts don't always mean romance. They just mean that there is an enormous amount of love and an enormous amount of safety around someone. Uh, but it could mean romance, of course. Um, here we have someone resting on someone else's shoulder and someone holding the key to your heart. There is a little bit of a gray space here. So you could need some comforting or you could be comforting someone else this week. Um, but you have the strength to do this. Okay, if this is something that's going on in your own personal world, in your own mental or psychological world, you can rely on yourself. You are your own best friend. Um, it's a good week to practice being your own best friend. And that includes, of course, as I keep saying, just ask for help if that's the case. You do have resources available to you, so reach out. And of course, as I always say, a soulmate does not have to be a human being. They can be an animal. So if you have an animal in your life, um, Pisces, whom you feel very connected to and who feels like um, a soulmate, why not? Why not? Any creature who holds the spark of life is a living creature. That's what has the breath of life. That's who shares our source. Do they bleed red? Then that's a person. <laughs> Okay, um, they may not be persons under the law, but we all know that animals, uh, and not to steal from the term people, but we know that even non-humans have the spark of life. So if, if we're looking at soulmates here, don't discount the animal kingdom is all I'm saying. So let's just get your final card here. I don't see anything overwhelmingly negative for you here. There's no like huge hurdle. Uh, Pisces for you this week, which is nice for you. You could even feel like you're on top of things. Like I said, uh, people could be turning to you. Uh, or you could feel like you could really help someone this week. Uh, if that's the case and they are unwilling to take your advice, I think the lesson there could be to just to sort of graciously back off as well. They'll come to you when they're ready. Um, but just know that you have that to offer. That's an, that's an important personal power to have. Now, look, here with the second power card, 
As I said, horse actually means power in the medicine cards. Um, so you have here, this is general energy for the week. So this is power, okay, for the week. Here we have an additional message card, power. In this deck is actually source. It's actually God energy. Uh, if you don't believe in God, it is creator energy. It is the unknown. It is the spark of life. This is guiding you this week. So if you feel as though you have things, like I say, even if you feel like you don't have things in order or if you need to be humble about something, remember, everything you need is just a question away. It's just a... It's a concept away. Uh, what do you need to get to the next level? Oh, you write it down. Oh, and if you feel stuck in any way, this is when you're going to start saying, what are my resources? Who can I turn to? Who can I ask? How can I acquire this? And this is going to help propel you along. This is actually the breath of God here helping you along. So if you feel alone at all this week, remember that you're guided that you're assisted, you only need ask. If you have guardian angels of your own or ancestors that you like to turn to at all, it could be a good week to reach out and ask uh, members of the spirit world. But um, And there's no need to go it alone this week either uh, at all. Uh, you do have a lot of support here. Soul mates is the term. This is plural, okay? There are lots of different avenues you can take here, family, friends, coworkers. Um, Maybe even someone that you haven't even met, Pisces. This could be a musician, a uh, favorite musician of your own, or this could be um, an author, <laughs> alive or dead, who could be speaking to your soul right now and you're turning to them for advice or for encouragement this week, or even, like I said, for an idea. So really lovely to see this. I'm excited for you this week. I feel like you're really going to feel like you're in your personal power. Much support is going on. Soulmates goes both ways, right? You have to be able to give it to receive it. And of course, a sense of personal power, um, keeping your feet on the ground. If distraction is necessary, try to keep it uh, temporary here. And don't let anyone upset your groove, your, um, your path for yourself that because you you have it going on this week Pisces so that is your reading let me know how it works out for you I'm always curious and if you're not already subscribe to my channel because I upload videos for your sign every single week so until we meet next time take good care Pisces bye for now